So, without further ado, there you go. go our ahead. first guest for the morning, yes, Gabriel M. Pabon, Deputy Chief Fire Marshal. Yeah, Did I get the pronunciation? I had to. You My had man to? said he's from Puerto Rico. I had to give him <laughs> <a little laughs> <I'm> extra <laughs> spice. I had to throw some adobo on there for <laughs> right. you. Okay. Sound right. good. You did it Sonic, perfect. Yo, perfect. my man. Yeah. And with him, DSU Hornet alumnus. Yeah. Inspector. Uh-huh. Hank Inspector Rose, Deck. man. Morning, morning, morning. He is a morning. public, also the public education specialist. Morning. So welcome, brother. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate welcome. it. Good morning. All right. Oh, I'm excited, I'm man. I'm excited, man. It's hot. In here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Keep your clothes on. Right, So, right. brothers, first off, if I didn't get the introduction right, please let the people know who you are. And kind of talk about what we're going to be talking about today. Okay. Go ahead, boy. All right. So I'm Gabriel Pavone. I'm the fire marshal. I've uh, been on it for about 24 years. Wow. And um, Thanks for your service. Yeah, Thanks you yes, both sir. for your service. No problem. Yeah. So, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about some an event that we have coming up. Okay. Some events that we've had in the past mm -hmm. and how we're, um, we're trying to add a little bit more to what we've been doing in the past. Mm -hmm. And um, kind of just be in the community a little bit more and more engaging. Idea came from the inspectors. Right, they brought it to me, and I'm like, "You guys run with it. Do what you guys want to do with it. Make sure we partner up with some good, you know, some good people that are helping us." Inspector Rose is going to talk about it, and um, and that's it. Yeah, 24 years been a fire marshal office. Most, you know, most of my career. What made you? What made you want to be a fire a firefighter? Because you know, it, I, I mean, growing up, you had the yeah. little trucks and everything. Yeah. Like, what was your yeah. inspiration? Uh, I think mine was a little bit different than most firefighters. So, um, you know, I grew up here in Wilmington on the west side, right, and. Um, Always wanted to be a police officer, right? Hung out at the LACC all the time, engaged with a lot of police officers, mm. not a lot of firefighters in the neighborhood where I lived. Um, always wanted to be in, in law enforcement. After I graduated, I, um, I left to the Marine Corps, weeks right after I graduated. Did some time in the Marine Corps and came back to Delaware, serving in, in the Marine Corps. Mm -hmm. And um, started dating my wife, which at the time was my girlfriend, and um, her dad was a fireman. Okay. So okay. I, w I was going through the process, Wilmington Police, yeah. uh, made it to the Chief's interview around the same time. So this was all for a girl then? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't for a Okay, no. my fault. I, I, I won because I, I landed the girl. You know, there you go, so you won. Yeah, 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 so. And, and you landed the career. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So yes. that was a bonus. Right. So, I'm sorry. So, yeah. so, <laughs> things we do for love. So I think, I think, you know, I wanted to be a police officer. And um, her dad was a fireman. She's like, hey, you ever consider being a fireman? I, you know, I said, well, you know, let me look into it. They were hiring around the same time. And, you know, I applied and ended up getting hired with the fire department. I think I just wanted to serve, regardless yeah. of what I wanted to do. Right. Uh, I think I just wanted to serve. I wanted to serve the public. You know, I, right. um, so how's you know, it been? How's it been? It's good. It's great. It's a great career. You know, I, I, you know, I couldn't ask for anything better. You know, it's, cool. it's, you know, people say it's the best job in the world. And honestly, it is. It, it's a great job. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. you get to help people. It, every yeah. day is different. Yeah. Um, and it's just um, you're in the community. You know, you're helping. You, yeah. you know, you're making a difference. Even, mm -hmm. even if you don't make any runs that night, you right. know there's an option that you're going to do something. So it's good. It's right. good yeah, job. Man. Yeah. All right. And we got my man. The, Hank uh, Rose. <laughs> Hank, firefighter. Yeah. Uh, Navy. Yes, sir. Um, 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 Hornet, Hornet alumnus. alumnus. Don't forget that. Um, uh, transplant survivor. Yes, I got to throw that in there yep. because if you don't know that, look, his face, no. you don't know oh. the story. Shaq don't know. Okay. Shaq don't know the story. Shaq, where do you hear the story? Transplant? Yeah. yeah, we have to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, because it's special, very important. Man. Yes. Right? Um, 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 what else? What else did I miss? You proud miss father, something? God, proud please. father, his, uh, you know. I, I know oh, I know, I know you met. Little, I know a little about. You him. missed that he's the public education specialist. All right, so DJ please. for nonprofits. Oh, don't like, forget that. Like, come on, because he was about at the all hip hop. Yes, I yeah, was. we right? were there. And, and that's the key. So there. let me just say this: that's key, right? When the community can see officials and people like you actually not just working, right, but at events, right? So, Hank, just talk to us a little about what you do and what this Wilmington community means to you. A lot. I mean, my story isn't as elaborate as the deputy. Uh, I, I, I didn't do it for a girl. Um, <laughs> I, did it, I did it because I needed some money. Um, right, right. Um, my, uh, I got into firefighting because at the time my wife was pregnant with our first son and I didn't like the direction where things were going in my life. And it was like, hey, look, I need something different. And at the end of the day, I applied to police, fire, I applied to uh, Border Patrol and a few of the people. Whoever the first person to call me back, that's where I'm going. That's where you're going. Wow, that was your that, logic. That, honestly, that was the honest truth. Fire department would call me back first, and it's one of those things like I fell in love with the job. Right. I enjoyed it. I think it was two years into the job, and I was introduced to the fire marshal's office. 
from day one, I was in love. Like, yo, this is where I wanted to be. Right. It took me a long time. Um, two years ago, the deputy found, for whatever reason, maybe he saw me crying in the corner, not sure. <laughs> was like, all right, look, I'm going to pull you up. And mm -hmm. I've been up there in the fire marshal office as public education specialist for the last two years. Right. So a lot of what we do, we want to engage with the community. Um, I often joke and say that, you know, the fire department isn't, the first pe people that you think about partnering up with, right? right, right. It's not somebody you say, hey, look, we're going to yeah. have an event. Let's call the fire department. Yeah. You know, you call us when you call 911. <laughs> right. Your house is burning. And bring the fire department. <laughs> right, bring right. the fire department. Right. Right. right, and you get it. There's so much other crime and things going on in the city that the focus sometimes slip away from being fire safe. Right. So one of the major goals we, the deputy wanted to do was find a way to engage the community better. Mm -hmm. And so this event that we're going to have on October the 28th, which is this Saturday, mm -hmm. is one of those events. You know, it's our first ever fire safety event specifically about the fire department. And before people take it the wrong way, it wasn't one of those things where we wanted to exclude or alienate anyone. Right. Obviously, like with Big Eye of Turkey Drive, we have partnerships, right? right. People that we we deal with, but we wanted to showcase the fire department, to right. say what we're about, what we what we have available to us. Yeah, no, we mm -hmm. really appreciate that because I, I, I began to understand that how important these partnerships are, right? right. And like partnership, partnering with you guys is, is, is going to be great. And this right here, you being out in the street, that's what we need. Like we all grew up in Wilmington, mm -hmm. right? And except my man here, he, he, where you from? Go ahead, throw it up. The BX, man. But listen, I have dual citizenship at this point. I've been out here 30 years. Like, I'm official now. Right, right, right. But being out there in the community is something that we haven't seen in the past when yeah. it came to the fire department. But now we're seeing more, more of a, 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 a presence, yes. right? And it's, and it's making people feel more comfortable of, of the fire department. And, applic you know, when it's time to apply, those little kids that see you, like, yo, I want to be a firefighter. Agreed. And, and, and it's so amazing with firefighters because... Yo, and my hat's off because you know you, you're young and you don't really see it, but you get older and you start to recognize it and appreciate it. Like you guys run to danger, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, y'all are running in a burning building. On who can I save? Who can I help? But like, and and so when it comes to events like this, the turnouts be great, man. And so, what do you want the people to know? What can they expect when they come to this event on Saturday? We want them to know that the event is October the 28th. Mm -hmm. Is this Saturday? Time is from. 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, we have we have a partnership with the American Red Cross. Shout mm -hmm. out to Teresa Young mm -hmm. and her staff. Mm -hmm. uh, she is the regional director in the Del Marva area. Nice. Uh, they've been instrumental over the last couple of years. We're going to have smoke detector installations. Okay. So we will be running from South Broome to Linden Street. Okay. Down Van Buren, back up Oak Street, and in the surrounding area of Cusco Park. Okay. And so we'll be making. Fire, we'll be making smoke detector, CO detector installations for those who don't have them. We you always use 10-year lithium-ion batteries. Chief, remind me again, we're at how many lithium-ion batteries? We're, in the we're, we're up to about 4,500 since um, 2020 since that 2020. we've installed in the city of Wilmington, throughout the city of Wilmington. Yeah. Wow. For people that don't understand, I want to just touch on this real quick. You said free fire alarm um, installations, right? Right. Yes. Um, can, you, and can you tell people what like CO2 is and why it's important to have these in their homes or their apartments? Because I think a lot of people probably just don't know how important it is because that's a gas that can kill yeah. you while you're asleep. Right. Yeah. And it's something that's not seen. Right. right. You can't see it. You can't smell it. Right? Mm -hmm. So, Damn. you can't one of the things about CO2, we try to put it in all sleeping quarters, right? right. So, therefore, if you, it would alarm you and wake you up in the middle of the night if there is presence. Usually, CO come from it's off gassing from, you know, some type of gas powered appliance, whether you have a dryer or mm. a heater inside of your home. And we want to make sure that those individuals are safe and you're notified or you're made aware of if there is some type of leak or something inside of your home that may cause some mm -hmm. serious danger or harm. Right. Um, but going back to American Red Cross and the people that will be serving throughout the community, we want to ensure that we get these smoke detectors installed. We have a smoke detector hotline okay. right, Talk throughout the that. city. Yeah. So anyone who lives within the city limits who needs a smoke detector or a seal detector can call our smoke detector hotline. We can provide the number for you later. And that smoke detector hotline is set up so that you can leave your name, your telephone number, and your address. Uh, I manage the hotline. I will make sure that someone gives you a call back mm -hmm. and we'll have someone come out to your home with an apparatus and they'll have four, four individuals on a crew, male or female, and they'll make the installation. It doesn't cost you anything. 
It's free nice. of charge. Yeah. And the way we're able to do that, again, with our partnership with the American Red Cross, and they wind up resupplying us back for every smoke detector that we install. Mm -hmm. I, love that is amazing. I love it. amazing. So love now it. we know what the public um, education specialist really does because he definitely oh, yeah. educated us. On? That was right on time. Yeah. yeah. That was super important. And so, Gabriel, you spoke about um, being active in the community. Yes. Right? And it seems like now with the fire department, that is intentional. Yes. Okay. So, we know that Wilmington is what, 70% minority? 72%. 72. And we also know how that community has a disconnect with, like, for example, officials like the police, mm -hmm. right? Do you still, do you see that type of disconnect with the fire department and the community? And if so, That's a good question. how do you bring yourselves together closer? Besides yeah. just because, and yeah. let me just, seeing people like you, Hank, and seeing you guys out in the public and not just in uniform and talking and interacting, that helps, yeah. Yeah. right? But how do you, if there is that disconnect, how do you get past it? I, I think we go through, uh, through seasons or years where there is a disconnect. It kind of comes back and it goes away. Um, there, there has been a disconnect with the community, I think, in the past. Like I said, I, I grew up in the city of Wilmington, and I never saw the firemen. You know, I grew up on 4th and Franklin, lived on Lancaster Avenue for many years. Unless, they were, unless it was someone that I knew, right, 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 or there was an incident on my block, I didn't yeah. see firefighters. I did see police officers, you know, at the community centers, yeah. you know, playing ball, shooting hoops, or maybe throwing the football around. Uh, but I didn't see firefighters. Um, one thing that we have changed and we're going to continue to change is that we are in the community. We're everywhere. Anywhere we get invited, um, you know, we follow trends, we follow events on, on social media, mm -hmm. and we show up. Uh, we try to engage everyone at all times, whether it's, you know, our office or the members in the suppression companies or the guys in the, uh, on the fire trucks. Mm -hmm. um, we, we're intentionally being in every event that we can, um, you know, maybe they're throwing the football. When WPD's having an event, yeah. we, we get invited, yeah. we go out there. MSK has an event, we're out there. Um, and the turkey drive, right? We're gonna try to be out there. Uh, we want the children in the city of Wilmington, the residents, all residents to see us in the community and know that firefighting is a great career and it is an option for them too. Yeah. Um, they don't know a lot of, they don't know. You know, if yeah. you're in the state of Delaware, most people think that all firefighters are volunteers. Right, right? right They don't right. know what we do. Um, they think we just fight fire. You know, we, we do a lot of stuff. We do public education, we do inspections, mm -hmm. we investigate fires. Our office is the law enforcement portion of the department. Mm -hmm. So we are um, certified police officers. Oh, we do fire investigations. I didn't know that. Yes. We, um, so you got that thing on That's why you got yeah. that hammer, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we, it ain't yeah, no nails absolutely. in here either. No. Right. I, I said, I at just, first, I said, how you fight a fire with that? Yeah, right. Yeah. But hey. So I looked at it, I said, what's that? Yeah. Like, Damn, bro. Yeah, we, right. keep, we keep people safe. We do, yeah, you know, we, we, we keep yeah. people right. safe. We do our own inspections. We do our own arrests, uh, process Get our own criminals. Y'all yeah. get arrested? Yeah, we do our own arrests. I didn't arrests. know that. Yeah. Did you know that? How many people we got here right now? Let's make sure we're straight. Okay, we're good. All right, sorry. Wow. And that's amazing. You can be. Firefighters and police and operating in the police um, officer atmosphere. The, the numbers, the, the members in the fire marshal office, the inspectors that are fire uh, in, investigators, okay. do attend um, Wilmington Police Academy or mm -hmm. some certified police. Wow. Um, our last guy went to Wilmington Police Academy. Prior to that, we sent a guy through Dover Police, the, um, police Academy. They get detached from the fire department. Mm -hmm. They go to the police academy, get all the credentials, all the annual certifications, the shootings, and everything else. Okay. But we do a lot more than that. You know, we yeah. do. You know, we answer all types of calls. We go to shootings. We're EMTs. Most, I think, like ninety. I think everyone but two members on the fire department are EMTs. Wow. wow. So um, we go to any type of event, any emergency. We're there, right? Water rescue, high angle rescue, confined space rescue, yeah. vehicle extrication, anything and everything. So I think the community doesn't really know that. They think they just no. you just show up, you get up a ladder, you put out a fire. Yeah. We do. There's a lot of stuff that we do, and it's a it's a great environment to work in. I'm telling you, it's. Oh yeah. It's, I didn't know. I so mean, it's 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 like a professional athlete. I say because you get to hang out with people that are just like oh, yeah. you. They want to yeah. do the same thing you want to do, and. And it's cool, you know. You got a good environment. We're like family. Sometimes you're, you know, yeah, yeah family yeah, fight. Yeah, no yeah, family yeah, fight, but it's but right. it's good. But yeah. you know, when the bell rings, and, and the right. bell rings, guys, man, they put their stuff on and they go to work. Guys and girls, they go to work. Yeah. So. Yeah. And speaking of those multitude of runs, you figure last year in 2022, Wilmington Fire Department had about 26,387 runs for the year. How many? 26,300. And, and when you mean runs, you mean We're going, about out. Calls. going out. Calls. Calls, going out. Damn. And speaking to those things that the deputy mentioned, it could be a multitude, a plethora of things, right? But mm -hmm. the most, th the things that we respond to the most 
with structure fires or cooking fires, right? <sighs> so you figure on average between 2017 and 2021, there were on average 158,400 fires that were related to cooking. So just last week in October 8th through the 14th was uh -huh. fire prevention week, right? Yep. Right. So that's another reason why it's important for us to get out there and install these smoke detectors, get the community, come out to the event, show them there'll be a multitude of different stations explaining stuff about fire extinguishers. Right. Uh, we'll have stuff that's set up for fire prevention information that they can take with them to talk about kitchen safety, yep. cooking safety. Um, making sure, you know, the difference between if you have a gas stove, electric stove, things of that nature, uh, there'll be stations there to talk about, you know, just simply how to be safe. Right, right. Um, shout out to uh, a few people, Miss Henry, they'll have a table set up, they'll be giving away free fire extinguishers. We're going to have a moon bounce. I, I so think kids, nice. come on out, jump around, have some fun. Right. And learn we partner something. up with, kids with Parks and Rec. Moon bounce? So you're going to have tons of food and we're not talking about park lunches now. We're not talking about back in the day, you getting your little juice box and your little, yeah. you know, your little grandma cookies. Yeah. Yeah. We talking about actual grill. We'll be grilling outside, having a good nice. time. Uh, we lock down the blue coats. The blue coats will be coming and they'll be setting yeah. up. Uh, Cody, the mascot, he'll be out there, him and Sparky. Yeah. I'll be having a good time. So no, we want people to come out and enjoy, you know, have fun, but we want you to learn something. That, you know, I'm learning something that, that here. Like, I didn't know yeah. you guys that made that many calls. Oh, Over yes, 25,000 calls that yeah. you're, you, and you got to get there, and you guys are getting there. Oh, I think, hey, if the city of Wilmington, mayor's office, mayor's office if you're watching this, they're going to need their own show, man. Because yeah. I think, like, like, just you guys educating us on that, the people need to know. Yeah, like, yeah. And, like, and, and why we're on this, because we, we own a network. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about tips, um, and we'll get right back to yeah. this, but I want to talk about some tips because you said um, cooking fires, right? How, or give me some tips on what people need to do to just be a little bit on the safe side of things. Uh, little things like for those who take medication. If you take medication that may make you sleepy or drowsy in the evening time when you cook, set that aside. Keep it separate. Take it right before you go to bed. Don't take it, and the next thing you know, you fall asleep. Why are you cooking? Why are you cooking? You get a lot of that. Yeah, oh, people fall that asleep. Absolutely. Yeah. What do we all do for the most part? No one is usually detached from their cell phone, right? right. So while you sitting here talking, and you cooking, next thing you know, you walk away, you forget, you get engaged in a conversation. You're talking too much. Something on the stove is burning. Damn. Um, it sounds silly to say, but if you feel like you got to utilize a restroom, go use the bathroom first before cooking, right? right? Because next thing you know, you're in the middle of cooking, you use the bathroom, you don't know what you're going for, next thing you know, something burning on the stove. Yeah. We're all adults. Yeah. It happens, yeah. right? The right. number two could turn to a 911. Right, real <laughs> quick. you blink. Um, <laughs> little things like, you know, your handle on your stove pot. Make sure you turn it to the inside. So if you have smaller children, you want to keep them least five feet away from the stove while, they, while you're inside of the kitchen so they don't knock the stove pot. If you have big dogs like I do, you know, make sure you keep your pets away from there too, right? Yeah. Freaking person, all right? Yeah, your dog's no, like, eight, a, like 18. Yeah. A horse. Out of all the cooking fires, out of all the home fires in the nation, 50, they could, cooking fires contribute to 50% of them. And yeah. the majority of those fires are unattended cooking. So like Inspector Rose is talking away. about is you step away for whatever reason, yeah. you know, and we've, the trend has increased since people are working from home. Understood. Yes. Right? Yes. People work yeah. from home and they're trying to get dinner ready. They're yeah. trying to get their lunch ready while they're, they're working from home. Call. They're on yeah. a Zoom call and yeah. they forget that, yeah. so you know, you know, hopefully they have a smoke alarm. That's why we're here. Okay. Yeah. Early detection is going to save you, Shit, right? Cool. It may not save your property. You're still going to have a fire, but it's going to save your life. That yeah. early detection to let you know, hey, there's an emergency going on. I need to stop what I'm doing. I need to get out and yeah. get my family out yeah. and call 911. So that is all great information, Go ahead. right? This week you have the event coming up on Saturday, the 28th. That's leading up to Halloween, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Are there any, and it doesn't have to necessarily be fire prevention, but any safety tips or anything for people on Halloween? Yeah, so there are some, a lot of tips that we can talk about Halloween, you have Thanksgiving, you have Christmas. We're going into the, you know, the second lead of fires causes are heat, it's electrical and heating, right? Mm -hmm. Equipment. Mm -hmm. So now we're getting into the season, right? We're getting space into heaters. heating, space, space heaters. heaters. Yeah. We're getting into overloaded extension cords, people using extension cords. Yeah. Plug up that Christmas that. tree. So plug up the Christmas tree, Christmas trees that, you know, yeah, have you ever seen natural that? Christmas trees that they don't, yeah. That, yeah, that they don't put water in, right? So they're dry up and Burn. these fires. Fast. Fast. Very, very fast. 
You, are you, very you, unsafe. Do you guys have any video of, of like a Christmas tree? I think that would be great. Can, oh yeah, we can make a make a. We can send you something. Yeah. Because yeah, 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 I believe people yeah. when they see it, that will get yeah, the information. Yeah. Because like you said, that yeah. thing will go up in like ten seconds. Yeah, absolutely. So even making reference to the cooking thing, not to go back on that, but I have a family member who was on medication, passed out while frying fish, mm-hmm. and while passing out and dropping, they pulled it down them, so they got like third degree burns like all over their body like it was very bad so these things are very very helpful for the community so i didn't mean to cut you off and and i learned a lot today so we know everybody on the plaza learned a lot today yeah i'm i'm I'm, look again i saluted y'all before but now more than anything i thank you because what you guys do is not is, is nothing is nothing easy right I'm I'm just shocked. I'm shocked. I gotta bring y'all back. So yes. yeah, absolutely. When it, you guys come back anytime you want, if you want whatever, because I think people in Delaware and outside of Delaware need to just be more aware of not just what you do, but how to be safe. Yes. Right? How to be safe. So to recap, Saturday, um, October twenty eighth, um, you guys are you said you're making a, 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 a tour, so to speak. Is it a tour? It's gonna be it's gonna be at the park. Just at the yes, park. But we'll have firefighters and apparatus out there and we'll be doing smoke detector installations okay. and again different stations here's a couple key things real quick uh thank you to big centric big centric is supplying an eight in one air fryer that we're going to be giving away for a grand prize okay so for people to come out there none of this would be possible if it wasn't for the vision of other people inside mm-hmm. the fire marshal's office mm-hmm. we brought it to the deputy as he said he co-signed it took it to the chief chief looney right. and his staff hey, they looked at it thank you to him for yeah. allowing us to go forward with this a big shout out to Donnie Smith yeah, and the mayor and the mayor's office for their support. Yeah. Um, we also want to thank local 1590, mm-hmm. uh, the Nestor app that they're using, definitely Red Cross, uh, Brown Town community. We want to thank uh, Bard Square community. We want to make sure we say thank you to Hedgeville community. Yeah. You know, all those people in that surrounding area, definitely, we need you to come out. Yeah. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Let yeah. somebody, you know, come right. on out that day. If you can't make it, we will have everything for you. We'll have a DJ there. We'll have some live music. We're going to make it a fun yeah. event, but you're going to learn something. All right, do me a favor. This is your camera right here. We call this the community camera, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. And you can go ahead and pitch it. You got 30 seconds. You can pitch it to them, you know, and you, and we'll make sure that it stands alone well, as, no, from the show. Well, thank you. I want everyone to come out October the 28th. That's this Saturday, not next Saturday, not the Saturday after next. This Saturday, October 28th, from 12 to 4, the Wilmington Fire Department will be hosting their first ever fire safety day. On that day, you'll be able to get win raffle prizes uh, by utilizing tickets uh, to go to different stations. You learn information on fire safety, cooking safety. You'll learn information on how to utilize a fire extinguisher. You might even walk away with a free fire extinguisher for your home, but we want you to be out there. While you're there, you'll get hungry. We'll have free food out there. Not just little trinkets of, you know, cheese and crackers. We're going to have hamburgers, hot dogs, things of that nature. Something to drink for you to sustain your time. For the kids, come on out and have even more fun. We're going to have a moon bounce out there. The blue coats will be there. Cody will be there. Our mascot, Sparky, will be there. We want everyone to come out and have a great time. It's a family-oriented event. It's something for you to learn, and we appreciate you if you just tell anybody and everybody. Any questions? issues or concerns or you want more information feel free to call 302 576 3120 that's for the fire marshal's office all right thank you my man that was I, good yeah good, good. good job Boy, hank man shoot. we appreciate I, you guys I, wanted, I, I also wanted to get into well and we'll get into another time about like how much of an inspiration hank is yes you know what i mean yes. it is definitely um a beautiful story it's a love story and um and that's my man. Yeah. I, I mean, I just love hearing about it. But we'll, we'll talk. And about- let's not forget that Gabriel's love story turned into a whole career. Whole, to- <laughs> whole career, is. Man. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. so here and, we go. And three children. And three, right. children. And three so, children. So yeah. once again, thank you, brothers. Thank you we appreciate it. We definitely know our viewers appreciated having you on here today, man. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for it's having us. Book. That's a book. It's like, yeah. it's like the, the firefighter love story. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, <laughs> you know, man. All right. We'll be right back with Devon Mitchell, man. Look. This guy's doing some amazing things in the fitness community. So, um, we need him in here. All right, my fault, guys. Sorry. DTV, <laughs> ch.com. Good morning, Wilmington.